Hi everybody, this is a word of caution for those of us who may need a little bit extra support and go on Facebook to join groups to find like-minded people or others who have been through our same situation. So there are a ton of groups for estranged parents. And if you are kind of outspoken like me or further along in your healing process or have accepted your situation, sometimes you find a group and you meet a couple of other people who are like-minded. So I've joined other groups and I actually created a small group of about 20 individuals who are somewhere just past the point of possibly no return, who have accepted the situation and who find that they've met other women who are just like them. So there's a group on Facebook. It's called the Strange Mothers and Grandmothers, comma, Million Strong. It's run by Susan Honeygood. And in, you'll see in a lot of groups where people have been traumatized, where there are people that are, that like me, who are smiling today despite their traumas, others who are on the verge of smiling, and others who are simply in the, oh, woe is me, my kids are evil portion of, of life. And I'm not, I'm not, you can be what, at whatever stage you're at, but when you join a group and you finally find a place where you are comfortable, safe, heard, listened to, find other others who are in the same spot as you, what can happen is if any of the admin, which sometimes there's one or sometimes there's four or ten, etc., if they disagree with what you're saying or you offend one of the admin or someone else, they can suspend your profile profile from commenting, from posting, etc. And that's what happened to me in this group. I'm pretty much straightforward and to the point. If someone says, I reached out to my adult da daughter and I said X, Y, Z, I say, don't reach out. Or if a mom says, I stopped by a, an event to watch my grandkids, even though my daughter-in-law says I shouldn't, I say, don't stop by. My, my advice is always short, sweet, and to the point. I was suspended from the group. I don't really care until I think August 1st, which is fine. I, you know, whatever. But that's what you have to really be careful of because if you are really truly hurting and you might say something out of sorts uh, as, as an emotional reaction or a trigger, the admin can just kick you out, suspend you and block you from the group that you've come to really enjoy. I was in another group I'm not going to name the group, but I found it to be um, toxic. And so I was posting videos from the Dr. Phil Merritt Street um, series where he talked about parental estrangement. And so I was taking the time to do small one minute clips and add them to the group. And the admin said, knock it off. And I said, I'll just stop posting. And I, I slowly made an exit from the group. And the reason I was posting so many videos is because it's two hours long. It's a one hour series um, with two episodes. And so I was just doing short snippets to say, oh, this is what the daughter said. This is what the mom said. This is what they're struggling with. And so I don't have time to sit for an hour and I, my phone doesn't hold that much video. So I just want to say, don't become too independent on the groups in Facebook. I, I went through my estrangement years ago, a decade and a half ago, prior to the uh, internet, groups, etc. So I had to really dig deep and work on it, on my own health and well-being myself, without the support of a lot of other people, because nobody else but me was going through what I was going through. So think about that, just a word of wisdom. Um, don't become due dependent on these groups, because at one it, within a second they can get rid of you. It's the internet. That's the way it works. So anyways, that's all I got to say. And um, I'll be back.